hey what's good you lot welcome back to your girls channel today we have a highly 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 requested one nations and forever it's barcode eight let's get straight to it yeah yeah would you allow me to introduce you to some nations Florida's got me <laughs> you know we have nations within humans different type of nations where you come from where i come from listen i come from imagination i'm disgusted by people that live in abomination i do everything now if you live in procrastination you won't need papers to be citizens of stagnation crazy nations we went to hell but we refused okay where you live where i live those are different nations yeah but the far that i've heard he's talking about other words with the word nation okay that is very creative i come from imagination i'm disgusted by people that live in abomination i do everything now if you live in procrastination you will need papers to be citizens of stagnation crazy nations he does everything now but if you live in procrastination if you're doing things when it's almost the deadline you won't need papers to tell you that you're stagnating you're not progressing yeah in life or whatever it is that you are trying to do yeah so don't be a procrastinator just do it as early as possible basically you will be living in the nation of stagnation yeah like a country of stagnation that's a nation yeah but in this situation he's talking about those people who are under the umbrella yeah of not progressing and we have certain groups nice now if you live in procrastination you won't need papers to be citizens of stagnation crazy nations we went to hell but we refused to stay in condemnation came from afterlife to come live in reincarnation no architect we self plan we build this domination when they went through a lot of you know problems struggles but they refused to live in that kind of life it's like you have been condemned you've been cast to live that life yeah but he said he can change his situation so he doesn't have to live in that kind of life Basically, it's our choice how we live our life, yeah? If you want to condemn yourself to a life of poverty, to a life of sorrow, that's you doing it. To hell, but we refuse to stay in condemnation. Came from afterlife to come live in reincarnation. No architect, we self plan we build this domination. When you love each other, I'll go live in discrimination. Now take your culture to see... Came from the afterlife to live in reincarnation they say that the dead are reborn in people like how we name our kids after our grandparents our parents yeah so basically it's that kind of theory yeah when we come from the afterlife those who are gone before us yeah and then they are reborn in our kids yeah our kids kids because we don't know if the soul really goes into you know the next generations bodies to hell but we refuse to stay in condemnation came from afterlife to come live in reincarnation no architect we self plan we build this domination where you love each other or go live in discrimination now take your culture to citizens of indoctrination but tell them you're the architect of your own life yeah so it's you who decide if you're going to dominate all your problems or you're going to let your problems dominate you yeah so you build yeah like an architect yeah so that you can dominate your problems yeah your issues it doesn't necessarily have to be money yeah but anything that you're going through self plan we build this domination where you love each other or go live in discrimination now take your culture to citizens of indoctrination but tell the assassinations not to kill originations some people never wake up they live in indoctrination is like brainwashing yeah somebody really wants you to believe in a certain thing yeah and mostly it's not right they are putting it in your head that it's the right thing yeah but it really isn't those people who like to kill yeah origination like the beginning things that we believed in from the beginning yeah and try to introduce like like new things to us it's like it's being shoved down our throats yeah stop trying to change everything to make us believe in what you people want us to believe in because at the end of the day, what you're telling us to believe in is not even right. That's why you see a lot of people who are original in our times are really appreciated because people are so used to seeing what is imposed on us. So when anybody has free thinking, yeah, they see it as something extraordinary, which should be vice versa. Discrimination. Now take your culture to citizens of indoctrination, but tell the assassinations not to kill originations. Some people never wake up, they live in hibernations, and doctors are making all the citizens of vaccination. What's your nation? Put yourself to a test every day and you can say that you live in a self-examination. Visa to careers, boarding flights to a... You live in self-examination, yeah? 
see how well you do in certain situations. You can say that you live in a self-examination. Visa to careers, born in flights to extermination. Make them citizens of awards, they live in nominations. Like third months, everything got a match. I live in combination. More blood to my blood. There are people who really glorify getting awards and nominations. Yeah, so you just leave. To get a nomination and if you don't you think that you're not progressing in life if we all thought like that yeah nobody would ever work hard because nobody would ever recognize how hard they work you don't need an award from anybody to show that you are a hard worker even though your hard work doesn't get recognized trust me if you're putting in that work yeah you'll see it for yourself you'll award yourself for the hard work you've been doing your hard work counts to you and your family mostly everybody else it's not that relevant. Spot the flights to extermination. Make them citizens of awards. They live in nominations. Like third months, everything got a match. I live in combination. More blood to my blood. This nation is a donation. Yeah. Glory, glory, glory. Like the third month, yeah, everything has to match. Yeah, he lives in combination. Yeah, like March. March means to make everything fit in together yeah the month of march actually that's funny because we're in march right now that's nice okay he lives in combination yeah he combines this and this to go together more blood to my blood this nation is a donation when you go for blood donation yeah they check what kind of blood you have a type yeah all that stuff so you're adding blood to another blood yeah so that is blood donation yeah that's nice yo lj is too smart everything got a match i live in combination more blood to my blood this nation is a donation girl we beautiful let's go together in lost germination flower to a flower citizens of cross pollination yeah. let's grow together with love germination yeah let our love grow yeah germination is growing yeah of a plant in cross pollination we have a bee going from a flower to a flower fertilizing it yeah so that uh the flower can blossom or uh if whatever they are pollinating has a fruit the fruit becomes sweet so basically <laughs> he's saying god said we should fill the earth yeah so it's people from different nations people from different backgrounds yeah yeah like they cross pollinate to make kids yeah and create a nation yeah like their own little family yeah exactly nice nice that's tough i like that this nation is a donation girl we beautiful let's go together in love germination flower to a flower citizens of cross pollination you need organization to live in coordination and me my life will forever live in illumination you rappers get a deal and then you leave determination looking for your contract you will find it in termination life is a movie you die in the no once these rappers get a contract yeah they relax because they get money up front yeah they they get maybe houses cars they stop being hungry yeah they forget the goal that they had in their head they become way too comfortable and leave determination alone yeah it's like they broke up with determination finally when you're looking for your contract yeah it's going to be terminated because they really signed you because they saw the hunger in you yeah so now you've lost everything because you became lazy Illumination, you rappers get a deal and then you leave determination. Looking for your contract, you will find it in termination. Life is a movie, you die in the final destination. So when I talk to God, I'm specifying the location. When I come to heaven, I wanna live in rejuvenation. Real, no person in my nation will live in impersonation. I wanna explain myself. Life is a movie, you die in the final destination. Yeah, you remember the movie called The Final Destination? Yeah, but we all have a destination, yeah. At the end of the day, everybody has that final day in their world. Yeah, that's your final destination. When he's praying and talking to God, he's telling him, yeah, his final destination. Yeah, the location that he wants to be in. Yeah, like when he dies, he, he wants to go to heaven. Yeah, and he wants to feel rejuvenated. Yeah, amongst the angels. And because they say all the good people go to heaven. Yeah, he wants to feel rejuvenated when he's in heaven. He's real. So nobody in his nation will live in impersonation. Nobody in his nation. Yeah, in his circle will live trying to be like somebody else. Yeah, they are going to try to be themselves. To God, I'm specifying the location when I come to heaven. I want to live in rejuvenation. Real, no person in my nation will live in impersonation. I wouldn't explain myself if this nation was explanation. What you see is not real, then you live in hallucination. We stole joy, they sentence us to live in crimination. It's different nations. Identify to us, your nation. Why do we have to live to die? He 
would not explain himself yeah if he was living in a nation that was called explanation he's not going to explain himself because what you see is not even real it's hallucination a lot of the things we see on the internet or in the world yeah is not even real these are things that people are creating to put in our minds they stole joy and they were sentenced to live in crimination now you can think of joy as a person yeah they stole joy and then they were incriminated yeah they like they went to jail or they stole somebody's happiness you're locking me up in sadness there are so many different nations yeah identify the nation that you live in which one are you in from all the nations that he said nation was explanation what you see is not real that you live in hallucination we stole joy they sentenced us to live in crimination it's different nations identify to us your nation why do we have to live to die because all we do is die to live why do we have to have the poor why do we have to have the rich when you're living in this world, you know at the end of the day, you're going to die. So why are we living to die while we are struggling so much in the world, so we are dying? It's like you're dying inside or you're dying working really hard so that you can live. Make it make sense. And that's a good point. Why do we have poor and rich people? You see, this scenario of poor and rich people was brought about by people. Because in the beginning, everybody was, you know, on an even platform until we started having people trying to be leaders, people trying to control other people, yeah, people being greedy for money. That's how it started, even in the old times with the tax collectors and all that kind of stuff. And then God came and started healing the poor for free. While you go to hospital, you are charged. You know, it's a lot, it's a lot. Live to die, cause all we do is die to live. Why do we have to have the poor? Why do we have to have the rich? I've been having all these thoughts, maybe it's a movie we live. But why do we think before we act if God will the script? Why do the poor stay in bed? If God is really the one who's directing what we are doing, why do we really have to think about it? Yeah? Because we know there is evil in the world as well. Not everybody's living a godly life, yeah? So you have to think before you do some things. Because after Adam and Eve sinned, yeah, we were able to distinguish between good and evil. Thought maybe it's a movie we live, mm -hmm. but why do we think before we act if God will the script? Why do the poor stay in bed? Maybe because they don't have anything. And that will end when they sleep, because at least they'll have a dream. Frustration, even anger manage and need therapy. Sexual intercourse we do it, we are always fucking pissed, just like money. Why do the poor stay in bed, yeah? Maybe it's because they don't have anything, yeah? They're in debt, they don't have anything. And at least when they're in bed, it will all end in a dream, yeah? They'll dream of maybe a good life. Yo, bro, you can escape your reality when you're sleeping and dreaming. Bro, mm, this is so deep. Even somebody who's helping people to manage their anger, they need a therapist, yeah? Because even a doctor cannot treat themselves, yeah? In as much as you're helping other people, you also need help. Cause at least they'll have a dream Frustration Even anger manager need therapy Sexual intercourse we do it We are always fucking pissed Just like money The world is in our pockets Different planets are carrying Since right now we are spreading edge And if you broke everyone give you space You might lose your breath No use in your hand is your cup of tea But you might lose your breath Ooh. He said something about planets yeah And then when you're broke Everybody will give you space yeah no Nobody will want to associate themselves with you when you don't have money because they are not going to get anything out of you because sadly that's how the world works not using your head is your cup of tea but you might lose your bread yeah you might not be able to make ends meet if you don't use your brain yeah to make money yeah because at the end of the day you are given this bread for a reason anybody born in this world has a brain whether you're born rich poor we all have some things in common like we all have a brain it just depends on how you use it and if you broke, everyone give you space You might lose your breath No use in your head, it's your cup of tea But you might lose your breath Men will break, but out of thickness Men will not enjoy the bread You build your castle in the air Today, tomorrow you lose your breath You can never impress a woman in this world, can you? It's like telling the world that the world means the world to you Fuck you, you mean? Men will break, but out of thickness They will not enjoy the bread, yeah? If you make your money not in a legal way yeah like if you steal from somebody you're not going to enjoy that money it's not even going to help you in the long run yeah you're not even going to invest you're just gonna splurge it knowing that you're going to steal again yeah you cannot impress a woman in this world it's like telling the world that the world means the world to you you know like guys tell the girls that you're my world yeah so how are you telling your world that you mean the world to me no, 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 no. You're my everything. You mean everything to me, like the world, yeah? Make it make sense, bro. Nice.
Take my out of thickness, men will not enjoy the bread. You build your castle in the air today, tomorrow you lose your friends. You can never impress a woman in this world, can you? It's like telling the world that the world means the world to you. Fuck to you, me. I came with random thoughts on different things. I got a question for the self righteous before you answer things. See, if God was in hell and the devil was in heaven, would hell still be a bad thing and would heaven still be a good thing? My mind stayed that united. All these things that we read in the Bible, they were written by people. I don't know bro, we cannot prove these things, we just came after everybody, yeah? So if God was in hell and Satan was in heaven, would you still want to go to heaven so bad? <laughs> nah, yeah, that's our food for thought. Before you answer things, see if God was in hell and the devil was in heaven, would hell still be a bad thing and would heaven still be a good thing? My mind stayed the United States, I oversee when I overthink, like a bird up I've been hovering. Pondering while I'm pondering, like Ray Charles, trying to see what Steve have been wondering. Well, this is love is blind woman who always bring the wondering. My diamonds are for me, but my diamonds. His mind state is a United States. I mean, when he thinks about something, he definitely comes to a conclusion, yeah? Like, he's united with his brain. He can agree with a certain thing that he thought about. He oversees when he overthinks, yeah? And we know the USA, his United States is in the overseas. Yeah, get it? You're trying to see what Steve Wanda is wondering. Yeah? Stevie Wanda doesn't have his sight. Yeah, so you're trying to wonder. You're trying to see, yet he doesn't have sight what he's wondering. Yeah? Love is blind. Yeah, love doesn't see anything. Love doesn't see any wrong. But women will bring their wonder in. Yeah, they'll start wondering and thinking of things to see wrong. Yo, nah. My mind stays the United States. I oversee when I overthink. Like a bird, I'm a bit hovering. Pondering while I'm pondering. Like Ray Charles, trying to see what Steve have been wondering. Well, this is love is blind. Women who always bring the wondering. My diamonds are for me, but my diamonds are not for me. Cause they say diamonds are forever. And I can live for me, but I can never live forever. We are married to forever. But even with the divorce paper, we would never live forever. Yo! Even if you have diamonds in your possessions, they don't belong to you because they say diamonds are forever. When you're dead and gone, those diamonds will belong to somebody else, even though they said diamonds are forever. Yeah, they'll not be yours forever. We are married to forever. When you're married to somebody, you say this will last forever. Yeah, but at the end of the day, even though you are married for forever, yeah, when you get a divorce, you still won't live forever. Yeah, because you said we will live together forever. So even if after you're divorced, you still won't live forever, so there's nothing that lasts forever. Not marriage, not life, not nothing. My diamonds are for me, but my diamonds are not for me, cause they say diamonds are forever. And I can live for me, but I can never live forever. We are married to forever, but even with the divorce paper, we would never live forever. I forever wonder what happens if forever leaves me. See, I wanna be forever, but forever is forever. Forever is not forever, if forever ain't forever. Maybe forever will be rich if money wants to be forever, but then again. Yeah, he's wondering what will happen if forever leaves him. Because he was promised, yeah, by this person, I'm going to be by your side forever. But what if this forever person leaves me? What is going to happen then? He really does make a good point because people make a lot of empty promises. He's giving forever life, yeah, so forever is a person, yeah? It's not necessarily like the word forever, like living forever. Forever, but even with the divorce paper, we would never live forever. I forever wonder what happens if forever leaves me. See, I want to be forever, but forever is forever. Forever is not forever, if forever ain't forever. Maybe forever will be rich if money wants to be forever, but then again... Poverty is also not forever. Maybe forever can be love, but love will never be forever. We want employment no, forever. Oh, forever can be love, but love will never be forever. Even after we leave this earth, yeah, the generation that's coming next, they will find love. Love will always be there forever, like in all generations, even after we die. Love will still be in the world. But someone telling another person that they will love them forever, that is not forever. It's temporary. Because at the end of the day, you will die. You will, you know have misunderstandings and leave each other you'll not be together forever in this love yo ever but then again poverty is also not forever maybe forever can be love but love will never be forever we want employment forever but forever will never work for us what will it take it would take forever to be forever what forever is a question but questions are not forever answers are not forever humans are not forever but wait sleep yeah maybe sleep is forever when you die no wait god is forever yo hands up to lj bro he started with nations he did all the explanations he did forever yo this man is super creative i have not heard of such an in-depth 
yeah project like nations and forever this gets you thinking yeah it has you thinking a lot lot deeper than you normally would that is a really 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 nice barcode i really appreciate that one thank you guys for requesting that one a lot i definitely i'm glad i had the chance to check that one out anyway guys let me know what you think down in the comment section don't forget to like comment and subscribe and your girl will see you in the next video peace y'all